Hey guys, this is uh, Black Woman Seven here, and uh, they will be facing off against Winwick in uh, PFA Season uh, Nine, uh, Week Two. And honestly, this is one of those matchups, as I alluded to last week, uh, where I think um, this kind of looks favorable as long as I just maneuver around some of his stuff. So he has a Cliff Kick, a Raccoonid, and so another Sticky Whip Mon. Uh, Mandibuzz, Chandelure, Mini Lego, and uh, Kartana. Other Pokemon he could have brought were, uh, I believe, uh, Lucario, Hornetus, and Mega Blastoise. Of course, like, um, some, like, most of those Pokemon 3, like, don't have, like, very strong, he doesn't have, like, a very strong electric resistance or even, like, electric immunity, so. Obviously, this was something that I felt that Coco has a very fun, a fun time here. So I actually had a, a very mixed uh, Scarf Coco here with the Volt, Volt Switch Wild Charge. Wild Charge is basically for the deal I go if it's Scarf or it's like speed boosting. Um, Guard Jump is actually really bulky, uh, but it's offensive in general. So it takes like a hit from New Lego if it's like Life Warrior or whatnot. So uh, Sweet Code has Hidden Power Flying for the, uh, I believe, the... The, what's another Pokemon there that he had that was weak to fly? I can't remember. I think it was just a Raccoonite, but yeah, just about it. Um, I have pretty much CM Florges with the uh, H-Bar Ground just to take on the Lego. Uh, Crobat's like Rocky Hel Well, not Rocky. Yeah, I think it's Rocky Helmet again. Just to take hits from uh, Kartana. I think it survives, I uh, think, two March Strikes if it's like a... Like, I believe, like most of the time. Except he gets a higher high damage roll or something like that. Yeah, and I doubt that he's gonna run like max attack Kartana. So, and lastly, I have Gallade with the Dream Punch, Thunder uh, Punch, Bulk Up, and uh, I believe Knock Off or whatever. So, um, yeah, uh, that's all I have. So, let's get right into the game. As I just forgot to put this in mid normal. Here I go to Garchomp as he has. Yeah, Lego. So, um, already this is already a fun matchup. It's a nice hat right there you have there, Lin. So here he goes over to him, Power Ice, and he's actually able to activate my Berry for me. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm gonna go for Earthquake, but he also has his uh, own little thing here. And I'm like, well, that, uh, that spooks me. And here I actually make a hard read. Uh, just going for Gallade right now. Like, think you might just go for Power Gem or Hit Power Eyes or Fox. He actually predicts this and he just goes for Sludge Wave. Here, I just go for Mag Gallade's Mega Evolution and just go for Knockoff. Remove something's item. And this thing is a weak armor and it has a Knock Wild Berry. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> and already I'm like thinking to myself, okay, who the hell. Obviously, like. I obviously know that I don't want to stay in on this thing because this could have Brave Bird. And if he does have Brave Bird, then uh, I just lose Gallade for no reason. So, Lorch is probably the best switch in here. So, I'm just going to go for my uh, Blue Rose. As he has the Air Slash, so that's kind of funny that this thing is special. So, he goes to Spider Man, gets paid. I mean, shout out to Spider Man for getting. Uh... I mean, he's, he's in like a what? A dispute with uh, Sony and Disney, so that's important. I know that, dude. You're gonna get paid soon, my friend. So all those Spider-Man memes coming out. So I'm just gonna go for a Moon Blast, take on the Raquinid, and uh, already I'm kind of like curious as to what this set this is because he does have leftovers, and I'm like, oh man, I kind of don't want to. I kind of want to go hard into Suicune. Or hell, even Coco, but I'm like, you know, I'm just gonna play it safe and go Crobat. And I actually predict the. Uh, well, I'm able to get the Toxic turn correctly, so now I can just go for the uh, the Brave Bird or whatever. So he goes to Mandibuzz, and I'm just gonna be like, you know what, fuck this bird. And I'm like, uh, he's back to plus. Uh, he's back to plus uh, your speed, so I'm like, well, I'm switching the fuck out of here. As he actually reveals Hidden Power, I don't know what that was, but it might be I Hidden Power Ice or something like that, but that's whatever, so. 
Here, I just go into a uh, floor, just take this hit, and he's going to go with a cleft key as I go for a Moonblast. And here, this is the part of the game where I think you'll see why I main. So, he goes for Calm Mind, and I go for Calm Mind, and now it seems like where's it going to be in a CM war. And, oh boy, this is going to be fun. Now, in this situation, I can win because it comes down to the moveset with this guy because he needs to have, like, a recovery option. So, of course, he has leftovers on mine. He probably has Strain Kiss and the Flash Cannon. So, um, the last option comes down to whether he has Magnet Rise or not. So, if he doesn't have Magnet Rise, then uh, Garchomp could kill him. But, we get a crit. And Floor just looks like it's about to go in on his the rest of his entire team. So, so here he goes for the Sludge Wave, trying to get a crit or poison. And Floor just just gets kills this thing. So Floor just is already putting the, the weight of her team like or on her back. So I go to Crobat, and unfortunately, um, I got chip damage a little bit. Uh, so I am not going to take this uh, Smart Strike as well as I hoped. So it's a kind of unfortunate thing. I am going to get chip damage on it, but it's unfortunate because if I would have been able to, uh, uh, if I would have been able to like take these hits, then I would have just got rid of like this Kartana and this game would have been over. And yeah, so I'm able to chip this thing down very nicely to where like Coco can like possibly two shot it with Bolt Switch. So here, I'm pretty much guaranteed a Bolt Switch, and that's all I need. If I get chip on, on the Kartana, then that's the game is over, basically. So um, here I just go to, he goes to Mandibuzz as I just go for the Bolt Switch. And here I just go Garchomp here. And he goes for the Arachnid. I go into Suicune, uh, and honestly, I shouldn't have gone Suicune. I probably should have gone Galade. Because what you're about to see is, like, pretty much Spider-Man just one day wanting this Suicune, destroying its life, as you'll see. It goes for Spider-Web, not Sticky Web, by the way, so I can't switch out. And I don't have Rest, and he goes for the Soak. So now at this point, we kind of know this moveset of this guy, but probably has Rest. On this thing as well, but at the same time, that means uh, I think Floor just just sets up on it as well as Coco just full switches around. So yeah, um, so we're pretty much gonna be safe, but this does mean that we lose Suicune, uh, which sucks. But at least he doesn't have a set of fodder or like a way to set up versus uh, a Carton anymore. So yeah. So here we're gonna get some jam. We're gonna get one more chip damage with the uh, with the hidden part of the, f the flying. So yeah, uh, we're we're able to put this Araquan like around half. So here I just go to Coco, and at this point again I'm gonna go for Volt Switch. And yeah, get rid of this Araquan, and I go to Garchomp, and we go to Cartana, and at this point all I have to do is land a Fire Fang, and we're good. So he goes for the Leaf Blade, beat that up pretty well, and Rough Skin plus Fire Fang should do it. Now here he goes to Chandelure, and of course he is scurfed. Uh, honestly, I could have just like ended the game with Florges, but I felt like, you know what, I could have just like, I could just chip this thing down with Bolt Switch plus Florges, so just to ensure that uh, we could win this game. So here. He actually gets, we both get crits, which is hilarious, but to be honest, we should be able to tank the second hit of us, no matter what, so we always guaranteed win this game, so yeah. Um, so GG's to win, as we are now 2-0 uh, with a plus 4 differential, I believe, so it's kind of funny because, like, uh... The way this game came down to, like, a lot of... It came down to basically Floor just, just critting the cliff key, but I think... Uh, I saw his moveset, and it was actually Iron Defense. So, even if he tried to get boosted with Iron Defenses, I think he would have still lost to Garchomp, so, yeah. Like, he was, like, pretty much trapped and cornered, so... 
Um, the only thing I'll say, the last thing I'll say is that uh, I think this game was pretty much one-sided in a sense that Coco could just full switch around. He had no ground type Pokemon, and uh, that's pretty much one of the big reasons why like uh, we were able to win this game. So yeah, um, and I think that we still kind of played a little bit sloppy, but at the same time, it's kind of okay. Uh, my opponent just played better, like especially on the Suicune, on the uh, Garchomp, and even against the late those those turns when I had them in. It just it came down to like a crit. But honestly, with uh, Klefki, I would have just tried to ship, uh, clip, chip it down as much as I can. So yeah. So anyways, uh, that's the battle. So next week we're gonna be facing against Drub. So we'll see what happens with that one. So um, anyways, I have. All I have to say, and uh, take care, good one.